So Von Doom manages to convince Ben that the reason Reed is taking so long with the machine to change them back to normal is because he wants to spend time with Sue. And for some reason, Ben believes him. Well, do you also remember what you swore to do with every breath in your body? That just sounds dirty. Well, the Thing and Mr. Fantastic start a fight, and it gets pretty silly. Basically, it ends up like this. Oh, shut up, Ben. You know you like it. You two are on your own. So once Ben leaves, Reed decides to test out the machine on his own. But it doesn't go so well. Oh shit, he's having a stroke. I need... Dr. Doom brings Ben to the machine and convinces him to be a guinea pig for it. But the machine uses up so much power that the lights flicker throughout the city, and this alerts the other members of the Fantastic Four, who, for some reason, immediately know why all the lights are flickering in the city. And it turns out that the machine worked! Ben has returned to his normal self. Thank God I'm Ben again, and I didn't even have to sleep with Mr. Fantastic! Unfortunately, Ben finds out what the audience has figured out since the first minute of the movie. Doctor Doom is evil, and he betrays him. One down. Three to go. Yeah, I think Ben should be dead. Well, Reed arrives on the scene, and thus the final battle begins. And outsmarted the great Reed Richards. You are high. If you've exposed yourself to the storm, you're endangering your life. You need help. I think he turned into James Franco on that line. You need help. And so Doctor Doom and Mr. Fantastic begin their fight. Oh my god, do you really expect us to take that seriously? Why the long face? Let's talk in my office. Uh that was two one liners in a row. How many one-liners are going to be in this battle? While Sue, Johnny, and Ben try to catch their breath, we discover what Dr. Doom has done with Reed. In your lesson, chemistry 101. What happens to rubber when it's super cooled? That's not like you, Reed. Okay, I don't know which part of this is goofier. Emperor Palpatine wasn't this over the top. I mean, this is so silly and cartoony that, honestly, it's a little embarrassing to watch. Painful. You don't know the meaning of the word. Well, at least there's no way this could get any sillier, right? Just a little something from our defense contracts. You know what? I'm done. I'm done with you, movie. I cannot take any more of this unintentional silliness. I'm wrapping this shit up. So Johnny stops the missile, killing god knows how many people in the process. Sue starts to fight Doctor Doom on her own, for some reason not dying when she gets hit with one of his thunderbolts. And then, the Thing enters to give his one-liner for the movie. No, baby. It's clobbering time. I thought it was lunchtime. They ultimately take their fight to the streets. Ladies, I'm gonna need to borrow your car. Other transmission sticks! It's not gonna be a problem! <laughs> Wilhelm scream! <laughs> hey, did I ever mention I used to be a pole dancer? I can't let you do that. Well, shit, he just said the magic words. <laughs> I'll be right with you. 
Was that really the best one-liner you could come up with? Hello, Susan. Hi. You three are pathetic. You miss me. Fuck you, Johnny. This is gonna be fun. So Doctor Doom starts up an electrical storm and starts shooting everyone in sight, including Johnny. Wait a second! Did he just kill him? Holy shit! He totally did! I wonder how long it'll be until they lose the continuity on that one. Probably only long enough for them to do the most ridiculous superhero move in all of superhero movie history. Johnny! Supernova! I thought we agreed that was bad! Now! Okay. You remember the previous scene when they talk about Johnny going supernova and how bad that could be? Not only could you kill yourself, but you could set fire to Earth's atmosphere and destroy all human life as we know it. I guess nobody cares about that anymore. Yeah, even though Reed specifically said that this could set fire to Earth's atmosphere and destroy all life as we know it, he still decides that it's suddenly okay to try it. He tells the invisible woman to try to contain the explosion with her force fields, but we've never seen her do anything of this magnitude throughout the rest of the movie. For all we know, this could very well destroy all human life as we know it. They should exhaust every other possible option before resorting to this. It's stupid. It's fucking stupid. I hate this fucking movie. Anyway, they finally defeat Dr. Doom by freezing him after being superheated. So they throw a big party to celebrate, Reed finally proposes to Sue, and Johnny celebrates with a big large fiery four in the sky. And the end, thank god. So that's the fantastic four, and my god does it blow. The acting is horrible, the characters are bland as hell. It's silly beyond belief. I mean, just go back and listen to my review and see how many times I use words like silly and goofy and cartoony to describe what's going on here. This movie treats its audiences like children, and we really don't appreciate it, especially how far we've come in the superhero genre. This movie is garbage. If you ever have a chance to see it, miss it. And that's all I have to say about that.